allow them to do that. And then larger organizations like the American Legion, who continues to grow in numbers and do more and more things for our community, will have a large meeting space that they can come to and continue to build off what they've already accomplished. It has a lot of different specialty rooms that the community can use. A ceramics room. It has a woodworking room. Places for gardening, for master gardeners to come in and, and help our community. And then smaller rooms for additional birthday parties and special gatherings that are needed. As you can see, it has an incredibly wonderful courtyard that we're going to turn into a quiet space where everyone can enjoy with picnic tables. It has a game room that we're going to be able to utilize and much, much more. But that's just inside. Across the street and on the entire property, it's 30 acres worth of activity. So okay. whether that's archery, that, walking um, trails, this community center minutes. transitioning minutes. over the next couple of years minutes. is going to be something that Madison Thank residents are so excited about. So we're going to go from Second. here across the street and Google, transition please. to the Bradford Creek Greenway to talk about the next Aye. project that will make a big difference for the city of Madison residents. Aye. Well, as our journey continues, Hi. we're now here at the Bradford okay. Creek Greenway, right next to our trailhead off of Mill Road. And many of you, having run, walked, or biked this trail, have been uh, close to the horse farm that's right next to it. It's Sunshine Oaks. You've been here in the spring when the flowers are uh, yellow and, and the horses are in the field. It's beautiful. The neat thing about it for our community is we now own it. You know, Sunshine Oaks is 40 acres of a passive park that used to be all pasture land. Now we're going to be able, from a city standpoint, to enjoy that. We've listened to our community talk about more green space and more connectivity. And now, with Sunshine Oaks, we're going to have the ability to transition this over the next couple of years into something that our community can use in multiple different ways. You know, the barn is something that we see transitioning into an event center for weddings, for small family gatherings. And along with that, the house that's next to it can support that with any of the cooking and food that needs to be done. The 40 acres, well, we transition that hopefully into something that's disc golf to picnic areas. And of course, one of the things we know we want to have is a big playground where folks can utilize that in so many different ways. You know, Sunshine Oaks is a great purchase for our city. And I applaud our city council and especially out of the mayor's office, Steve Smith, for helping us make this happen and giving us, again, 40 more acres to utilize as a city in something that we all can enjoy. We've transitioned over to Limestone County and recently council approved the McHenry Homes Project. It's a 100-acre project that will have about 350 units for sale of all different kinds. What it also will have is 33,000 square feet of commercial and retail have, space uh, directly on Brown's Ferry. Uh, but most exciting for Madison residents, especially uh, on the western review. side, uh, we secured 25 we acres those, of green space uh, that they will donate to the city. And so each time that Madison grows, we want to do it in a smart, space. controlled way and in a way that benefits our city in adding homes of quality, retail and commercial space, and in this case, park space. So we're back from Limestone County here in Madison County. As a matter of fact, we're back in town Madison. We're on the Hexagon campus, a great partner with the city of Madison. Second. Formerly Intergraph, kind of where Madison grew up, but this campus currently has 1,100 employees and they have worked with the city of Madison on something that we're so excited to be able to share with you today. As our community continues to grow, we're investing in the critical infrastructure and services that we need to prepare us for the future. And a lot of that future has to do with public safety and the need that we have for an additional fire station and a police presence here on the south side in the town Madison area. A fire station for and a police substation here in town Madison, closer to where it's needed. A parking lot that gives us additional uh, support for the venue when and, uh, overflow parking is needed. It adds field space for our adult feet. programs in both soccer, um, softball, and baseball. Pickleball continues street. to grow uh, by leaps and bounds, and, uh, and this property will allow us to build an entire complex here for tournaments and also for our citizens and, uh, to use on a daily basis. That's, that's about it. And then Hexagon uh, and was nice enough to allow us to use their gym for our recreation Educational programs and continue to allow employees to utilize their gym facilities. What a great partner in Hexagon. What a wonderful project for our community. So how exciting. Four projects, over 100 acres 
that Madison residents and our community will be able to utilize, tied together directly with what our community continues to ask for. Give us more green space, more connectivity, more ability to enjoy our quality of life and recreational activities, and most importantly, continue to keep us safe. All of these are exciting projects that I'm proud to have worked with. As we talked about, we're not just standing still on rankings that are wonderful, we're continuing to work hard for our community and doing it together as a team. What we call a specific development plan under our downtown revitalization incentive district, which allows us to admit it's great to have high rankings, both nationally and at a state level. But what we truly have is an incredibly positive quality of life. One that has lots of activities to do, great restaurants to go to, a ton of diversity as people continue to move in here from different places. It's a unique city that continues to grow on all of us. Diversity is key to the success of Madison. We have so many people from so many different countries and continents and cultures. I think there are over 100 languages spoken in our school system. And, and I think the great uh, thing about the diversity a, of Madison is the where, information uh, and the difference of uh, opinions uh, and cultures that it brings uh, to our city. We are a true melting pot. Cafe, I, I appreciate that you, you can talk to your neighbors and you can see uh, someone at the grocery store like and engage in conversation and talk to 15 minutes there, and feel like you have a new friend. I enjoy the friendliness of our community. Undoubtedly, and, uh, the people they are the best thing about one Madison. Ma Madison there, uh, has a strong spirit that comes through through our schools, so through this our DRA, people, through everyone you meet really is just so friendly. Is no I think the best thing about Madison is that we have big town perks but a small town feel. You, you can right really right access right everything right. that you want within uh, five miles of here. There's they, so many cool businesses that are right in our backyard, but really it's a small town at heart. It's the community feel it's the getting together it's it's a madison street festival i mean it just is a great opportunity for everybody to come together and enjoy what the city brings to the families we had a petting zoo we had uh, children just performing we had the senior center performing but all those things are just family oriented it brings us together it brings us just drinks into the community and it's a great event happening every year that brings in so many people, and I think that's a gem. I think our quality of life is really shown like in our different this, greenways, uh, uh, multi-use paths, trails, sporting events, places. or sporting locations, things like that. So yes, I, I would say that we have a great quality of life. The best thing about Madison is its people. Our people get engaged at every facet of our city. They volunteer, they send their kids to our schools, they try to help us out in any way that they can to make this community better. And I think the hidden gem that, that I always am so grateful for are our teachers, staff, and administrators. And, and you know, they're a dedicated group of, of, of leaders who want the very best for our children. And so I, I just would have to say as superintendent, they're, they're, the, they're the gem. And as we mature as a community, each of us continues to get roots that are a little deeper and a little deeper. The planting of those roots is what continues to make our city strong. My family moved here in the early 70s when Madison was 2,500 to 3,000 people. My family's roots in the city of Madison are me and my, my co-workers. Um, you know, those are the roots that I'm building and those are the relationships that I'm building. I'm not a native of Hi. Alabama, but I'm certainly learning to love it okay. as an army brat. Roots are hard to find, but they were so easy to plant here in Madison. So our family's roots in Madison are deep. As a former active duty military family that moved all around the country, we were looking for somewhere that we could raise our family, plant roots, and stay for good. Um, and not just for the duration of raising our kids, but we hope that our kids come back and raise their kids here. After living all over the country, we I really feel like this is the best place in the, in the entire country to live, and we're staying put. <laughs> you know, as mayor here in the city of Madison, it's always an honor to be able to give the state of the city, to share with you all that we've accomplished together within the last year, and in this case, the last three years because of COVID. You know, it's an incredible team. It's our department heads, it's our city employees, it's our city council, our school system, the hospital, all the folks that you've seen that continue to make a difference for Madison. You know, it doesn't matter when you moved here, how deep your roots are, 
what we continue to hear is you uh, love living in this community uh, with a great school system, plenty to do, and someplace you feel Darryl safe. Walton we thank Street. you for coming tonight and, and sharing uh, this with us. We can't we, wait uh, to continue at it, to work hard for and, you uh, in the next year. They asked for just a straight up, uh, a straight up, we don't have to put one in. But there is some sidewalk. If you go down to West uh, Chestnut Street, that was built with a storage facility and some of the other things that come in there. There is a restaurant. I don't know what it is, but there is a restaurant where Rick's in. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a Korean barbecue. That you may not, you won't have anybody coming down from Sydney, but you may have people coming up that street in the future to go to the restaurant. Here, so. so we would recommend uh, that the, the sidewalk waiver contingent upon the submission of a fee and move for 36 dollars for linear foot of construction for a five foot sidewalk. So at that time we can get it. Uh, we can go ahead and get it. Two comments. And you can't plan to put in Sidewalk, the money's just still sitting there. start by thanking Katie and Meta for their sponsorship and thanking all the sponsors that you guys have seen as these have continued to roll through on the board. This event does not happen without sponsorship. Also, I want to thank our Madison Chamber of Commerce, Michelle Epling, her team, the Madison board, and all the ambassadors. We have the wonderful privilege of cutting a lot of ribbons and breaking a lot of ground. They do an incredible job there, but bringing everybody here tonight to be able to see what we're doing and hear the message is critical. So thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to the Madison Chamber. Let's give them all a big round of applause. But on behalf of our Madison City Council, our Madison department heads and our employees in the city of Madison, I welcome you to our Celebrate Madison event and the opportunity to come okay, so to give you an idea of what the state of our city is. There's a lot of pressure standing up here right now. Oh, not because I have what I have to talk about, that's pretty easy, it's because the, I'm in between you and t-shirt launches and fireworks. So I know I'm gonna be brief, but I sure am proud. And I think that's where I wanna start. I am so proud to be the mayor of Madison, Alabama, and I am so proud to be a part of not only this city, but this Tennessee Valley community. I wanna start there. We have an incredible community. And with that, I don't know how, you know, in this case, you can't be happy living here. There's so much opportunity and so many people that have helped us to get to that point. Is take this event from about 20 people in the city council chambers to this event tonight to be able to hear, see, touch, and feel who Madison, Alabama truly is. So for that, I'm very grateful. But I'm just kind of the mouthpiece. And I appreciate Katie saying that there's vision, and there is. Because part of what your job is as mayor is to listen. The big business. Once you listen yeah, to what your community you needs, you then the have to work with the team is. of people to one get it done. And Madison done. is blessed to have a strategic and a tactical team that in turn help make it happen. 
First, you have your elected officials. We have seven Madison City Council folks. They continue to be incredibly strong partners, helping us with the legislative end, the governance end, and being able to work together to make sure that we meet our mission statement of taking what you give us, stretching it as far as we can, and making a difference for your community. Those that you see up there don't get paid a lot of money, but they truly, each and every day, make big decisions for our city. I'm thrilled and, and appreciative to work with them, and as you'll see in a minute, they, in all the years that I've done this, our city council folks continue to step up to make big decisions for our city. But once we make the strategic decisions, it turns to the tactical requirements to get done what we think and believe needs to be done. And that's the second batch that you're going to see. And that's our department heads in the city of Madison. We have 15 different departments. And once we hand down the requirements and empower them to be successful, I continue to be amazed at what our department heads, using each one of their teams, do for our city. The part that, to me, is critical is over the last 40 years, from the 80s until now, this wonderful problem that we have of people want to continue to move here has constantly been at the edge of what we can handle, both financially and with the growth that goes on. Again, Madison's blessed because of our proximity, our school system, and our partners of Huntsville and Madison County, Limestone County, and the surrounding areas. But we're, we're going to go to a first video and show you more about what we do. I think the key here is for 40 years, mayors, city councilmen, department heads, uh, super school superintendents, our Madison School Board, have all stepped up and continued at their point in time to take Madison from a sleepy little town 